Hi, welcome back. This is my second video in the series, so let's get started. Before we dive into the code, I want to make sure your development environment is set up. Once you're set up, you'll be able to do this. Open up your terminal. Inside your terminal, at the bash prompt, type Python. Verify that Python is running and that you're running some version 2.7, not 3. We don't want Python 3 for this. Uh, once you're into the Python triple caret prompt, type uh, import pygame. Verify that pygame is correctly installed. If it is, it'll come back directly to the triple prompt. If it's not, you'll get something like this. Import error, no module named pygame in your case. In order to manipulate the database that we'll be using, you're going to need SQLite 3. So comes built into Python. Uh, so you should be able to do import SQLite 3. Come back to the triple carrots and then we can go SQLite3.version and it'll tell us that we're using 2.6. The version shouldn't matter that much, but uh, that's the version I'm using. If you want to be exactly accurate, you're fine with 2.6. To get out of Python, we'll just type quit with the round braces, parentheses. In your bash shell, you can type SQLite 3 to verify that the SQLite 3 command line tool is properly installed. Uh, you should see SQLite 3 version 3.7 or something similar. Version doesn't matter that much, like I said. Uh, to get out of this, type dot quit. You'll be back to your console again. Then in order to run our coverage, tests and our lint, you want to do these commands to make sure they work. Coverage help, which should show you the help for the coverage, which shows me that I'm running version 3.5.1. We also want to check pylint, so we'll do pylint dash dash version. That should show us something like this. I'm running pylint 0.25.1. Optionally, you may want to run the install the sublime text editor, but you're free to use whatever editor you like. And if all those things worked, you're good to go. If you do run into problems, I'm happy to give you pointers via email. I'll include my address in the details section below. In the next video, we'll actually dig into some code. So that's all for this time. Peace.